Hello, welcome to Redis's Totally Road Bay demonstration. Today I'm going to demonstrate support of 256 users, a feature supported by our Totally Road Bay solution running on Intel's IA platform. This demonstration has been split into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to demonstrate 256 active user support feature, which uses TM500 UV simulator setup. And in the second part of the demo, I'm going to demonstrate the same e -Node B solution which uses OTA setup with 64 commercial CAT4 UVs. Demonstration part one setup details. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use TM500 UV simulator for 256 users. Our e -Node B will be running on Intel's IA platform. We have configured our e -Node B with a single cell with 20 MHz bandwidth of FDD. We have support of two cross two MIMO in downlink and transmission mode supported is TM3. Some of the highlights of the demo are all 256 users attached to e -Node B are active all the time. They'll be doing full duplex TCP data transmissions. e -Node B scheduler is configured with four user per TTI where it is going to schedule four users for each uplink and downlink subframe. With all 256 users active, we can see an aggregate cell throughput of around 180 Mbps, where it is around 140 Mbps in downlink and around 40 Mbps in uplink. Welcome to the Redis's demo for Total e -Node B solution, supporting 256 connected UVs. In this demo, we are using our Total e -Node B solution, which is running on Intel's IA platform. We have configured our e -Node B for single cell in FDD mode with 20 MHz bandwidth. We are using TM500 UV simulator, which has support of 256 users. As we can see here, all 255 UVs are attached and they are in RRC connected state. E Node B is configured with access straight up security, where Snow 3G is enabled for both ciphering and integrity. E Node B scheduler is configured with four user per ETI configuration. We can also see here a downlink throughput of around 140 Mbps and uplink is around 40 Mbps. Let me take you to the e -Node B console log. From the console log, we can see individual users uplink and downlink throughput. So here column three is uplink throughput and column four represents downlink throughput by each user. In current setup, the traffic is equally distributed across all connected users. So we see all the users showing almost same data rates in uplink and downlink. We can see aggregate cell throughput in uplink and downlink here. It is around 38 Mbps and downlink is around, around 140 Mbps. Number of active UVs are 255. We can also see the cellular is settling four users most of the time. That's all I had for this demo. Thank you.
Welcome again to the Redis' Total Enode Bit Demonstration, Part 2. In this part of demo, we are going to use same Total Enode Bit solution which has support of maximum 256 connected UEs. We are going to use OTA setup with 64 commercial UEs of category 4 for this demonstration. Our Total Enode Bit software will be running on Intel's IA platform. We have configured single cell in FDD mode with 20 MHz bandwidth. Our e B has support of 2 cross 2 MIMO in DL and transmission mode supported is TM3. Welcome to the Redis' Total e B OTA lab setup demonstration. In this demo, we are using our Total e B solution which is running on Intel's IA platform and it has support of a maximum of 256 active UEs. As part of this demo, we have configured single cell in FDD mode with 20 MHz bandwidth and our e -node B is configured to support 2 cross 2 MIMO in downlink and transmission mode supported is TM3. You can see Intel's IA platform now. We have 64 commercial CAT4 U is available with us in this lab. All 64 commercial U is are attached to E node B and doing TCP full duplex data transfer. As we can see from UE console log, U is are doing full duplex uplink and downlink data transfers. This is our e -node B console output where we can see an aggregate cell throughput of around 170 Mbps. Out of that 38 Mbps in uplink and 135 Mbps in downlink. And we can see number of UEs attached to e -node B 64. Our e -node B scheduler is configured for 4 user per TTI. As we can see from its stats, most of the time the scheduling is 4 user per TTI. That's all we have as part of this demo. Thank you. For any queries, please visit our website. And thank you for your time.